Have you ever had a situation where you're looking for a specific part of a document and you just can't find it and you're scrolling and it's taking forever and you know that you wrote about a specific topic, but you can't find it when you need it? Great feature that is available in just about any program is a search and find feature. Usually it's called find. And even in Word documents, you can find and replace different words. So I'll show you how to use that today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity, and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I'll show you how to find a specific word or phrase in a document or a website. And we're going to use a very specific shortcut and I'll tell you about that in a minute. Some of the uses for this can be, let's say a website's really long, has a lot of verbiage and you're looking for a specific thing about something that is on this website. You can search for specific words and get right to the heart of what you want. In PDFs, you can find different sections of a really long PDF document. And then in Word documents, that's especially helpful if it's something that you're working on and you know you talked about a topic, but you're not sure what page it's on. Uh, you can use this shortcut to find a specific word or phrase in order to get right to what you need to work on. I'll start by showing you this in a little bit simpler place, which would be a PDF. And you can do this by using the shortcut Control F as in Frank on a PC or Command F as in Frank on a Mac. And what you do is you hold down that Control or Command, hit F, and you'll see a little box pop up. In each program that you're in, the box will look a little bit different, but it's almost always in the upper right corner. You'll see in a document that we do, it actually pop up, pops up on the left. So you'll have to watch where it pops up and it'll be different per, for each program, but you'll do your command or control F, you'll get this little box and it will look for whatever you put in here. If you're looking for a word, you can just put that in. Um, we can see I last did a search on prevent. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna look for the next one and boom, you see it highlights it right here and it finds it. And up here in your little information box, it says there's one of one. So the word prevent is only once in this document. Um, let's say I'm looking for the word delegate. Okay, we see again, only one time is it in this document. This can be very helpful if you are looking at something, if you're proofreading something and you need to find if you've overused a word or if something's misspelled, we'll sh I'll show you in a minute how to look at, at that in a working document um, that you are editing. So that is the beauty of this. Let's switch over to a Word document next. Here you can see I have a really long document. I think it's like five or six pages. And I know that I covered a certain topic and I need to work on that section because I know I had some things that I needed to fix. So I will use the control or command F in this case. And you see, it looks a little bit different. It pops up on the left and you can see the last word that I searched was attachment. So it went straight to that attachment section, which is what I was looking for. And in a Word document, I also have the option to potentially replace this word with something else. If I click here, this little tiny arrow, I can go to replace and it will find anything with the word attachment and I can replace it with something else. So if I have consistently misspelled something, I can have it find the misspelled words and replace it with the correct words. Another way to use this feature is if you want to search a phrase, you can put that in here as well. Now, one confusing piece is, at least in the Word document, if you put the quotes around it, it's actually going to look for the quotes. Because um, I often say, if you're going to use a phrase, put quotes around it. In this case, you actually don't. So let's say I used the phrase, click elsewhere. And I decided I don't want to use that phrase. I want to phrase it a little bit different then I can go straight to it. And sometimes, you know, you'll have a thought in the shower and you need to come find it in the document. This is one way you can do that. Lastly, I'll show you how to use this tool on a website. In the website, all we have to do is our command or control F 
And you can see this one pops up right here. And again, depending on your web browser, it may be in a different place. This is Google Chrome that I'm currently using. So let's say I am looking at this blog and I figure there's probably something about prioritizing or maybe I've looked at it and knew that there was something about it and wanted to get straight back to that information. You can see as I start to type prioritizing, it comes up here right in the middle and it's going to highlight every single instance of that. And you can use your up and down arrows. Let's say this website's really big and it's got pages and pages and pages. Then you can go from one to the other using the arrows. And once you get to the last one, it'll cycle back and go to the first one. And this is true no matter which, whether you're in a PDF, you're in a document, really any program is going to do it that way. So this is a great way to jump to something important that you need to see at the end of a website. This can be extremely helpful, especially if you're looking for features of a certain thing on a website or something like that, where you can go to that point on the page. One thing that I will caution you on is with websites, it is only going to search the page that you're on. So if what you're looking for is a topic that's on a different web page for that company, you'll need to go find that web page first and then you can do your search, your uh, control F or command F to find what you're looking for. Although I only showed you a few different ways that you can use this, you can use it in a lot of different programs. Um, for instance, OneNote, Evernote, Microsoft Excel, really all of the Microsoft programs will allow you to do this. I even believe if you're in an email, you can do this for um, an email in Outlook. You can do it if you're in an email for Gmail, really any email program, once you have that email up, if you're doing a preview, it probably won't work. But if you have the email fully up, then you can use this same tool. And again, it's Command or Control F to do a find. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions down there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with the answers. You can also like the video by clicking the thumbs up below, or you can share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And be sure to subscribe by clicking the red button below. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. That's if you would like to receive notifications each time a new video is posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.